Well, this weekend, tens of thousands of people will be in Uptown Charlotte for the Charlotte Pride Festival and Parade. Liz Shobe and Daniel Valdez are here this morning with all of the details. Good to see you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Uh, a lot of WBTVers are going to be up there with you at Pride this weekend. I'm very excited to be there myself. Um, Pride is huge yeah. in Charlotte. Um, let's talk about how huge. Yeah, so uh, last year we had uh, 260,000 people over the weekend. Um, we had the largest parade as well, so we are just very excited for uh, this coming weekend for Pride. Why is Charlotte Pride so big? I mean, we're around big cities. Why do we draw such a crowd? I think we draw such a crowd because Charlotte really is a city of transplants. Mm -hmm. And I say that as a North Carolina native, feeling like a unicorn. <laughs> people are from everywhere, which I think makes it really exciting. And what a lot of people don't know is we are actually the second largest pride festival in the entire Southeast. And the entire Southeast was, is pretty amazing. Um, so there is the festival and then there's the parade. They are two separate things, um, although connected. Walk me through the festival first. Who wants to talk about the festival? I'll talk a little bit about the festival. So it's uh, this Saturday. Uh, it opens at noon and it goes to 11 p.m. at night. We'll have uh, tons of vendors, food, two uh, stages, a community stage and a main stage, as well as other activations throughout the festival. Um, so it's going to be really fun. And then the parade is Sunday, right? Yes, the parade is Sunday. The pre-show starts at 1230 and the parade will kick off at 1 and it'll run to about 4 o'clock and then we'll wrap up the entire festival with our headliner Paula Cole and we'll finish the festival at six o'clock. When we talk about the parade, you have an insane number of floats, groups marching in this parade. I'm sure everybody wants to be a part of it. Yes. Yeah, we have about, uh, I would say 90 floats, 200 contingents Woo. and 11,000 people that we're expecting to just be part of the parade itself, not counting all of the folks that come out and just enjoy the parade and, and participate. That's huge. You mentioned Paula Cole and wow, that will be amazing. Um, but you have a ton of great entertainment. Walk me through that. We do. We have over 40 hours of entertainment across Woo. five stages. As Daniel mentioned, we have the main stage. Yes in the community stage, but we also have some smaller stages. We have Flourish, which is our mini arts activation that'll be in the Mint Museum this year. We're very excited to partner with them. We also have the Charlotte Gamers Network that will have a stage, and we are partnering this year with our sister organization, Charlotte Black Pride, for the Charlotte Black Pride stage. So we are so excited about all the things we have going on. Is it um, a challenge to choose artists <laughs> that will perform at Pride? Because people get particular <laughs> about who they love. Yeah, we well, try to have something for everybody. Yeah, we definitely try to have as much uh, diversity as we can, but also um, it's, it's, it's expensive to bring artists to, so sure. that's also part of the, the calculation, but we're really excited about the folks that we have uh, this year, and it's going to be really fun. We're also excited to highlight local talent. We yeah. had community auditions in June, and so we have our community auditions winners will be performing on the main stage as well, so we celebrate the big acts, but we also have amazing local talent here too. Yeah, Maggie Lowe, who is going to be on stage, uh, they were here recently and performed for us and we were so excited yeah. about it. Um, talk about parking, getting there, because when you're talking about more than 200,000 people throughout a weekend, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Yes. So we recommend people take public transportation. The light rail stops are right there. Thankfully, we're along North Tri uh, Tryon Street, so the light rail's right there. There is parking available in various parking decks, but be aware there will probably be you know, surge pricing over the weekend, so take the light rail if you can. Yeah. And it's so, it's so easy to take the light rail. Um, before I run out of time, obviously you want this to be a safe, welcoming, accepting experience for anybody to come. Yes. Um, people celebrating pride, allies, all of that. Talk about safety just really quickly before I let you go. Okay. So we work really closely with uh, local departments here in the city. We work at CMPD, the city of Charlotte, to make sure that everyone is safe and happy. We also recommend that people stay hydrated. Yes. We are still in the summertime. It's going to be hot. Stay hydrated. If you see something, say something. And we staff will be wearing bright pink shirts that say staff, <laughs> so if you need something, you can always just grab one of us. Yes. Perfect. Let's put all of the information for Pride this weekend up on the screen for you if you want to go check it out. It is a good time. I cannot wait to be out there. Instagram, X, and Facebook as well. Thank you both for being here and all the hard work you're doing. Thank uh, you. Here in the community. We appreciate it.